squama occipitalis, two lateral parts, pars lateralis, one, two, and pars basilaris. It is external surface, it is internal surface. We start from external surface of the squama occipitalis. First of all, protuberance occipitalis external. From this protuberance downward, pass crest, crista occipitalis externa. Laterally from protuberance, pass linea nuha superior. And from middle part, part of the crest, linea nuha inferior. Sometimes maybe it is highest nuchal line, linea nuha superior. Sometimes, not uh, every time, but sometimes maybe suprema, linea nuha suprema. Inside. Protuberance occipitalis interna. From this protuberance downward start crista occipitalis interna. It is was crista occipitalis externa and here crista occipitalis interna. Laterally from protuberance here and here. Groove of transverse sinus sulcus sinus transversi. And above sulcus sinus sagittalis superior. Superior sagittal sinus take place in this groove. Sulcus sinus sagittalis superior. And now protuberance together with crest and all of these grooves has shape like cross. That is why name of this eminence eminence cruciformis. Look like cross. Clear? Yeah. Next, lateral parts, pars lateralis. On external surface, we can see condyle, condylus occipitalis, here and here. These condyles make joint with which bone? Do you know? With first cervical yes, vertebrae, atlas. 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 Do you remember uh, mass lateralis? Yes. has superior articular surface, surface. of four articularis and these condyles join together with muscle lateralis of atlas. Behind of condyle present fossa condylaris here and here and sometimes here it is present canal, canalis condylaris, here it is absent on this bone. And uh, in the base of condyle present canal Canalis hypoglossalis, or another name, Canalis nervi hypoglossi. Cranial 12th cranial nerve, nervus hypoglossus, pass through this canal. Uh, here it is, pars lateralis on internal surface has groove of sigmoid sinus, sulcus sinus sigmoidi, and jugular notch in caesura jugularis. And last, pars basilaris, inside it has sulcus sinus petrosi inferior, and external surface has tubicle tuberculum pharyngeum, pharyngeal tubicle here. That is all about occipital bone. A last moment, upper part of squama occipitalis ossificate from connective tissue, like primary bone. All another parts of occipital bone uh, develop from cartilage. Three stages: connective tissue, then cartilage, and then bony tissue. That is secondary bone. And together, uh, they form mixed bone. Primary upper part of squama occipitalis, and secondary all another parts. Next bone, sphenoidal. It's ossificate from cartilage, that is secondary bone. It is bone of the base of the skull. It has body, corpus, osis sphenoidalis, two wings, lesser and greater, ala minor and ala major, and pterygate process here and here. We start from body, corpus sphenoidalis, uh, superiorly has saddle, turcic saddle, cella turcica. It has dorsum cella, dorsum cella. Inside of cella turcica, present fossa, where hypophysis takes place. Do you know what is hypophysis? It is pituitary gland. It produces a lot of hormones. For example, 
uh, somatotropic hormone, do you know? No? Mm -hmm. Oh, in, in the nervous system, after one year, we will study it. Today, only necessary to know fossa hypophysialis, because hypophysis take place in this fossa. Fossa hypophysialis. In, in front from this fossa, present groove, sulcus chiasmatis, because optic chiasma take place here. Sulcus chiasmatis. Laterally from it, uh, optic canal, canalis opticus, here and here, optic nerve pass through this canal. Laterally from Turcic saddle, present groove, sulcus uh, caroticus, sulcus caroticus, because carotid, internal carotid artery pass in this groove, sulcus caroticus. Inferior surface of the body has crest crista sphenoidalis laterally from it take place openings ah uh, no it is apertura apertura sinus sphenoidalis it's go into the sinus inside of this bone present sinus name of the sinus sinus sphenoidalis uh, sinus divides into two halves with help of septum septum sinum sphenoidale and uh, Openings, apertura, sinus finidalis, go into this sinus. Clear? Yeah. Next. Between laser and greater wings, present fissure, fissura orbitalis superior. Fissura orbitalis superior. Greater wings has four surfaces. This upper surface attached to brain and has name facies cerebralis. Anterior surface, look into the orbiter, that is why facies orbitalis. Lateral surface, look into temporal fossa, has name facies temporalis. And last, smallest surface, here it is, it's look to upper jaw. Do you remember what is the name of upper jaw? Maxilla. Maxilla. Lower jaw. Mandible. Upper jaw. Maxilla. That is why name of this surface facies maxillaris. Facies maxillaris is situated between facies orbitalis and facies temporalis. Between them, this small triangular surface is facies maxillaris. On cerebral surface, we can see three openings. Foramen rotundum, round foramen. Foramen ovale, oval. And smallest is foramen spinosum. Rotundum, ovale, and spinosum. And on temporal surface, present crest, crista infratemporalis. Pterigate process consists of two lamina, lamina medialis and lamina lateralis. Between them, notch in caesura pterigaidea and laterally fossa pterigaidea. And in the base of pterigate process, present canal canalis pterigaidus. Canalis pterigaidus. That is all. Is much? No.